What's up, biatch? <laughs> Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Um, so, for this week's video, um, in the light of last week's video being a Kintz inspired video, my vlog, my Kintzinero vlog, if you haven't seen it already, you should go watch it. I'll leave it in the description be down below. Um, but, for this week's video, if you haven't already known by the title, uh, we're going to be reacting to my first ever surprise dance. So, for those of you that don't know, I love being in quinces and doing anything that involves dancing, anything where I can, you know, just be out there and perform, you know? Um, dancing is kind of a substitute of my old type of performance. I used to love to sing. <laughs> um, back in fifth grade, I um, auditioned for, the fifth, for our talent show and I, um, my audition went great. It went really great. I made it onto, um, the talent show. But, um, yeah, after that, I completely forgot all about it. And I did not, like, practice or rehearse my song. So the day of the talent show gets here, and, um, I'm a mess. I completely bombed it. My voice was awful. I couldn't hit any of the high notes. Oh, God, that's embarrassing to remember. Um, but yeah, ever since that, I have never lived it down for my friends. And even my friends that came in to our school the next year, they found out about it and they bullied me about it. But yeah, um, so yeah, we're going to be reacting to my first ever surprise dance video. Little backstory on this surprise dance and this quinceañera. So for, since this was my, my first ever quince, um, I was 13 years old. It was, I got in back in August of 20, 2017. Um, I, like I said, I was 13, and the girl who skinned it was, I didn't know her. I didn't know her at all. A friend of mine was in it, and she asked me if I wanted to be in it, because the girl really needed another chamelan. And I was kind of hesitant, um, because it was my first, it would have been my first quince, you know, I didn't know anybody, I didn't know how to dance, and so, you know, I made up this excuse. I was like, you know what, I don't know, I'm, I have to ask my parents first. I asked my parents, and they both said yes. So I really had no way around it. Um, I didn't feel forced to do it. You know, it was my choice. I wanted to be in it. But, you know, I was like, they asked me to be in it. Who knows when will be the next time they ask me. Who knows when I'm going to be asked anyways. So I might as well do it. So yeah, turns out the first day of practice was the day I was asked to be in it. So I went. And, um, um, Everybody that showed up, I knew everybody except the quinceañera. I didn't know some people. It was some of them were friends that I like associated with during that time, and others were friends that I reconnected with after a while because I haven't seen a couple of them in a bit. And there, some of them were new friends, including the quinceañera. Um, we practiced for four months for her quince, and I loved her quince. I obviously I'm gonna love it. It was my first ever quince that I was in. Um, not gonna lie. It was kind of a mess the day of, you know, we were just organized and everything, but other than that, I think we did good. And I think I did good for my first quince. But yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. Oh, and before we get started, I'm going to pause the video every now and then, you know, so that we can see, so we can talk about my mistakes. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, we just started and I already have to um, pause. So at the beginning, you see how every other guy goes down and then comes back up. I was the only one, the only one who didn't. Oh yeah, there was a total of 30 chamelanes and, and damas together. So it was 15 chamelanes and 15 damas. Um, so imagine all these other um, chamelanes go down and you see this big bitch just st standing up. I practiced this move so much because um, I had during this time I was not athletic. I didn't have any type of strength in my legs or anywhere in my body. So I practiced and practiced because every time I went down, I would f almost fall. But um, I got it down, and the day of I didn't do it. So yeah, right, let's let's keep going. Oh. 
all you hear in the majority of the um, surprise dance videos that I have is just my family in the background just screaming my name, saying all these nice, amazing things, and I love them for being so supportive. Like in the last video, you, you can hear my, my, my brother say, shake it, boy. Shake it, boy! <laughs> Woo! And it's just, I just think it's just so adorable, and I love my family so much. Let's keep going. I hate the song so much. I hate it with a passion, dog. I remember the first time I ever heard this song, I thought it was like a really funny song, you know, it was like so hyped up and everything. But after this game set, I just hate it so much. Like I would have to hear it every single day for four months straight and I just got tired of it. And after that, I took a little break from listening to it and you know, I was back at it. And you know, I was like, oh my God, this is our song, this and that, whenever I was with like Damas or Chandler from this game set. And then after a while, they just kept replaying and replaying and replaying at every single party. And every time it comes on, I gotta groan and moan and say I don't wanna dance it. But I end up dancing it because my friends say, let's go. I don't care what you feel. I don't care how you feel if it's a song. We're gonna go dance. I'm just like, ugh, I hate you. Let's keep going. Speaking of supportive, so like right there, so for this beginning of the surprise dance for the, you know, um, each pair had to come up with a special move that, that they would be doing um, when they go to the middle. And you know, I was trying to think of something extravagant, you know, something nobody else, like something better than everybody else. Um, that's all I came up with. I just put my head on the ground and we danced around it. Um, nobody else did it, so we did it. One thing I didn't like about the surprise dance is that since there's there was a large amount of people in her court, it took us forever t to do this one song, and um, it took us forever to get to the next song. So, um, I'd say that the majority of the surprise dance is just based off of one song. We've had four in total? Yeah, four songs in total. So about this dance, um, I, like I said, I didn't know how to dance at all the, before I was in the quince. Um, you know, only thing I knew how to dance was like wapango and zapateado because, you know, that was like, I did the basic easy steps, you know. And then after I got into this quince, I just, I started going to more parties with the entire court because it, it's a big court. Our town is small. So, every quince you would go to, you would see everybody from the court. So yeah, I would I would go to the quinces, and a lot of a lot of my friends w w would pull me in and be like, "Let's dance this song." I'd be like, "No, I don't know how to dance this. I don't know. I don't want to." They'd be like, "It's okay. I'll teach you how to dance it." And they did. Unlike now, when people say, "Don't worry, I'll teach you how to dance it," they make you dance and make you look like an idiot. But no, they taught me how to dance. Um, 
I remember my friend Gloria taught me how to dance merengue. My friend Neda taught me how to dance bachata. My friend Martha taught me how to dance cumbia. And the rest I learned on my own. Yeah, I just got better from dancing by myself. So yeah. Also, <laughs> like I said, I didn't know how to dance, but they put me up in the front with like the better dancing people and I felt so flattered because I was like, do you want this dusty bitch up there? I mean, I guess. That step right there, we have to go up, down, up. down, up, down, up. At that point, I was dying. I was tired. I didn't want to do it anymore. I was like, just let me get this over with so I can go and sit down. Like, I think it was on the first one or the last one where when I went and I was going to get up, I almost, I, I went back and I almost fell to the ground. Good thing nobody noticed it because we were wearing all black and it was dark. So, kind of hard. It's kind of hard to see a big bitch fall when they're wearing all black in the dark. <laughs> also, if you don't know, in my last video, the, my original upload got copyrighted <laughs> and um, it was from a reggaeton song and I was so upset that I had to cut it out because it was like the part where we all run in you know where we all running in you know getting ready for the surprise dance because of it we, I got copyrighted so hopefully because of this song it's an English song and I know lots of English songs are very sensitive whenever it comes to copywriting and using them in their videos so I'll try to minimize the amount that I use in this video. But, right now the girls, the girls are gonna do their surprise dance. I knew the entire dance, I knew every single dance, from the girls dance, the guys dance, to the partner dances, and yeah, that's when I knew that I love to dance. My honest review on the surprise dance. I think it's a. I think it was a good surprise dance. So with Pango was a really nice song, except the Pasito Barron. Um, I like the cumbia, and I like the re, not the reggaeton, but the you know the song that they used for the um the girls dance. And I think the girls did really good, and the guys did really good too. Um, we all put in a really great effort, and I had I remember having so much fun that night. <sighs> Would I do it again? Probably, yeah. Would it be at the same venue? Mm -mm. I don't really like outside parties. I prefer them in, a, in like a salon, you know? But it was still a really nice party. So that is all I have for you guys today. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And also hit that little bell icon so you're notified for whenever I upload a video. Um, as always, I'm not gonna put my social medias out there because my social media is my private life and YouTube is where I come to, you know, just do stuff. 
Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys today, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!